Let's finish off looking at the more area, the more button up here. If I click that, I've got a few different options. Uh, under meeting info, I can get the invitation information. So if I did want to invite someone on a fly, I could copy the join information and say email to them. Of course, if I know the person's information, I could also go to the people tab and just directly invite them. But back to the more area, there is things like avatars, if your university allows that. Uh, at the University of Windsor, we don't have avatars. The video effects, that is useful if you want to put, say, a background behind you. I'm a big believer you never force students to turn on their camera. You don't know, maybe they don't even have a camera, maybe they don't have a private place to meet, maybe they're just not comfortable turning on the camera. But you might want to mention that they can do things like blur their background or use a virtual background. It might make some people feel a little more comfortable if they don't want to share their personal space. Again, I wouldn't force them to use it, but it might make them more comfortable being able to turn on their camera. I've also got under language and speech, an individual person can decide to turn on live captions. This is a great accessibility feature. Everyone gets to control for themselves whether or not they turn on captions. Speaker Coach is another really cool feature that most people probably don't know about. This will actually listen to you present and give you feedback. I think there's a lot of potential here for students. If you have someone who's practicing a presentation but doesn't have people maybe to listen or people are getting tired of listening to a presentation, they could make a meeting with themselves turn on speaker coach and get feedback from it. It would give them feedback on things like were they monotonous, were they using a lot of filler or repeat words. So it's something you might want to play around with. I think there's a lot of potential there for student presentations or presentations in general. Settings, uh, under device settings we've looked at before. Call health, this would give me the statistics on my internet connection basically. Uh, meeting options is useful. Those are the same meeting options we saw before, but it allows me to change them on the fly. So maybe for some reason I need to lock things down. Maybe I need to turn off chat or maybe I had it off and I want to turn it on or change who's able to present. Maybe I shouldn't have let everyone present. Well, I can change that right now. Click save and I've updated my meeting options in the meeting itself. I also have a few other things I like in here. The notifications. This can be useful. If you're only on one screen and you are presenting and sharing your screen and you don't want people seeing all the messages popping up from your colleagues messaging you in team, this is where you could do things like not have those chat bubbles or mute notifications in general so that it doesn't distract during, say, a presentation. 